Hello everyone, welcome back to the Dry Tips. In this video, we are going to talk about how to fix Phasmophobia is having crashing, does not launching, freezing and stuttering, low FPS drop, stuck or loading screen, and many issues which is happening for many of users right now, and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. So the first one, when you're having this particular issue, all you have to do is you just need to do a simple restart. For this, we just need to go over here in the start, right click over here, go to this power icon, go for a simple restart and once after that, try launch the game. This might be working in most cases and you have to try with a restart. So if that is not working, we can try with the next step that is all about. We can, verif uh, we can try with launch the game from installation folder, not from Steam. Many users launch the game from Steam, which is why we are having the issue. So we can launch the game from the installation folder and we have two methods which can be done. So one, we have a shortcut from the Steam that is right click on the game, go to the properties, go to installer file and just click on the browse. So that will redirect us to this particular folder. That is this PC, new volume D, Steam library, Steam apps, common, fast food, Phasmophobia, this is what it is. And now from here we have to launch the game. So this is the application, launch the game. And also apart from this, we can also navigate to the installation folder using the file explorer. That is we have to go to this PC. So if the game is installed on C, we have to open C. If the game is installed on D, we have to open D. So let me open D, the game is over here. Go to Steam library, Steam apps, go to common. Now from here navigate to Phasmophobia, select this one and go to this particular folder. So now we need to launch the game from here. Launch the game from the installation folder instead of launching the game from Steam. Work it for many users, we can try this out. Next one, we need to run the game as a, from hence we are in the installation folder, we can try two more steps. That is running the game as an administrator and also uh, running it in the compatibility mode. For running the game as an administrator, we have to right click and go to show more option, go to properties, go to compatibility, click on run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for OK and try launch the game. This is what you have to do. So once you launch the, uh, launch the game or run the game as an administrator, most probably that will be working fine. If that is not the case, we can run the game in the compatibility mode. For this, we just need to right click over here and go to the show more option, go to properties, go to the compatibility, click on run this program in the compatibility mode. So you can either set this to Windows 7 and go for apply and go for OK, or you can set this to Windows 8 and go for apply and go for OK. So once you're done with this one, we just need to close this and we have to go back and we need to try launching the game. So if that is not working, we can try with the next step. Next step is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to make sure the date, time and region is correct. For this, we just need to go over here in the search and we have to go for settings over here. We have to go for settings, go to settings over here. We have to go to time and language. Now from here, go to date and time. Make sure the time and time zone should be turned on. We have to turn this on as well as we have to turn this on. Now we need to go back. We need to go to language and region. From here, we have to make sure the correct geography according to your location. So if you're from United States, select United States. Once you set this up, just close this and we have to go back and we need to try launching the game. If that is not working, we can try with the next one. That is all about, we can launch the game but when you are launching the game, we have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. I don't know how this is related, but this did work good for many users. So you just need to click on the play button. At the same time, we have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard and it worked good for many users. So you can try this out. Next one is all about nothing but we need to delete the saved game file. For this, we just need to go over here in the file explorer, go to the documents over here and you will be able to find many folders over here. In the same way, once you started the game, you'll be able to find the folder uh, for the phasmophobia. So if you find the folder, just delete the respective folder and keep in mind, you will be losing all the progressions if you delete it. Once you delete the folder, close everything and go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but, we have to allow the game to Windows security. We just need to go over here in the search and we have to go to the control panel. We have to go to system and security, go for Windows Defender Firewall, Go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. 
keep scrolling down and navigate to p so keep scrolling down and navigate to p so fastfo mo uh, fastmophobia so here as you can see make sure the uh, the public and the private both should be checked or else you have to check it so imagine the game is not here and how we can add it just click on the change settings go for allow another app go for browse go to the pc go to local to see steam library go to steam amps go to common now from here we have to go to phasmophobia we have to select this and go for open and add it so here i'm getting the error because it's already added so once you add the game we just need to close this and we have to go back and we need to try launching the game next one is all about nothing but we have to close all the overlay application which is very important why we have to do this so we just need to go over here we just need to right click over here and go to the uh, task manager and over as you can see many apps are running over here in the background there are 50 background apps running over here in the background so we can delete the things for example discord reward tuner msc afterburner all these are one of the main reason why we have to remove it so just remove the unnecessary things running in the background or else when you are launching the game at the same time these are being launched in the background that is why we are having the crashing issue so just remove everything from here once you remove everything go back and we need to try launch in the game next one is all about nothing but we have to disable the steam overlay for this we just need to go over here in the game right click and we have to go to the properties make sure the enable the steam overlay while in game this should be turned off if it is enabled we have to disable this once afterwards we have to try launch in the game if that is not the case we just need to move to the next one that is all about we can also try with giving the commands in the launch option so for this we just need to give the commands over here we can try with the first command that is dx11 give the command dx11 try launch in the game if dx11 is not working try with dx12 and try launch in the game so either dx11 or dx12 any one of the things will be working fine so just close this and we have to launch the game so once you launch the game see whether the issue is solved or not still the issue is there the next one is all about we have to unplug all the usb devices i don't know how this is related but this street worker for many users when they remove when they unplug all the usb devices for example uh, joystick controllers everything once they remove it once they remove it it works fine for them so once you remove everything what we, what happens is when you remove everything is there the game works fine and we have to launch the game and it worked fine for many users so you can try this out as well next one is all about nothing but we have to perform a clean boot for this we just need to go over here in the search we have to go over here go to the uh, we can go for system configuration we have we can go for system configuration now from here we have to go to the services we have to go for disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for okay so as you can see we have to go for restart so uh, most probably the users who are watching this go for restart but i'm go going to go for exit without restart hence i'm here admittedly sharing off in with obs so those users who are watching this you can go for restart once the restart is done just go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card for this just need to go over here and we have to go for graphics settings either we can search for graphics settings like this search for graphics settings so once you go for graphics settings as you can see i have already added many games same way we have the game we have to add the game just click on the browse go to this pc go to new volume d go to steam library go to steam amps go to common now from here we have to go to phasmophobia select this one select this one and go for add so once you add the game go to options and over here as you can see let windows decide go for high performance and go for save now go for save and we have to close this and we have to go back and we need to try launch in the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to increase the virtual memory for this we just need to go over here in the search we have to go for view advanced system settings just go over here into view advanced system settings go to the advanced tab go to the settings once again go to the advanced once again and go for change now make sure as you can see if the page is selected we have to make sure it is blank select the local disk where the game is installed so in my case it is d so i have to select d 
go for custom size go to the value for the initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so we just need to go over here we need a calculator so search for the calculator so click on this one so type 32 gb multiplied with 1024 that brings you to this and we have to multiply with 1.5 that is 14 and 152 and we have to paste it next one we need to type 32 gb multiplied with 1024 that is we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98 304 we have to copy this and we have to paste it go for ok and we have to close this and close this as well and we have to go back and we need to try launching the game uh, even after trying with this if the issue is still there we can also try updating the graphics card so i'll be providing link in the description to both nvidia as well as for the amd so the nvidia users have to go over here in this link you have to select the product type product series product operating system language etc so we have many options we can select geoforce and we have to go for over here in the geoforce rtx over here go to this particular folder now from here we have to go to windows 11 and we have to go for start search and once you go for start search we have to go over here now the 537.13 is a released driver version and we have to go over here in the august 2022 2023 so we just need to download this install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game go over here in the amd we have to go over here in the graphics card over here and go for a submit and once you go for submit you will be getting this option if you're on windows 11 download this one if you're on windows 10 download this one we can also try installing the microsoft visual c plus plus it worked for a few users we can try this out so if the system is based on x64 you can download this one if the system is based on x86 you can download this one install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game last and the least step is all about nothing but we have to uninstall the game and we have to reinstalling it back for this what we need to do is we just need to go over here in the game right click and we have to go to manage and install the game for reinstalling it back you have to keep in mind right now the game is installed on d so if i uninstall the game and reinstalling it back on c is not is the solution we should not be uninstalling and reinstalling back on the same local disk so these are the possible workaround which can be done when you're having an issue with phasmophobia is having this issue I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.